Is that Lear's magazine? <laughs> Stephanie, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. Could you get me some coffee, please, or I'll fire you? <laughs> yeah. Those are your options. Can you fire interns? Of course you can. Absolutely. You can do what you want to do. So last night, the Florida State Seminoles beat uh, the Florida Gators, and uh, yeah. so fat Bobby Bowden uh, won, and I was happy about that. Yep. I, didn't, I obviously didn't see it. Penn State beat the uh, Oregon Ducks. <laughs> what? Can people name Ducks win anything? No, well, they no. shouldn't be able to. <laughs> and, uh, and Nebraska's number one according to the polls this morning, right? Yep. Both polls or uh, an Associated Press poll and a poll in uh, USA Today, the CNN mean? coaches poll. Those are the, those are the polls that are out so far. Is there is the does UPI still exist except in the guise of Helen Thomas? Just in just in our memories, I man. I love Helen Thomas, by the yeah, way. Aren't you? Hot item. Yeah. <laughs> She's not a hot item. She's 155 years old. But yeah, I mean, but she is. She looks like Yasser Arafat. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Retire. Uh, and, <laughs> and Mary McGray, I love her with those Swifty Lazar sunglasses. Yeah. Oh, what is that all about? I'm back to it, Mary. Uh, all right, it's 22 yeah. after the hour here in New York. <laughs> Senator Alphonse D'Amato, who probably hasn't slept in about a week, just just chomping it to bit. To turn on those Klieg lights and get some Arkansas weasels squirming. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I mean, can he stand it? No. And, uh, and one of our favorites, Tim Russert. Is Greenfield on this morning? Negative. Greenfield's on too much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeff Greenfield, maybe he's new, so who we absolutely is our all time number one guest. Mm. And, but overexposed. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and Tim, but Tim Russert, the Washington Bureau Chief for NBC News and the host of Meet the Press will be on. He's complaining about that we're taking advantage of him by putting him on the most influential morning radio program in America with about 10 million, mm -hmm. 10 million listeners. That's how, that's how we're taking advantage of him. <laughs> so he can be seen so, and so heard. So somebody can see him. <laughs> God. I'll be, I'll be lucky he's not going to be here in person because I, I could get violent. Oh, yeah. yeah. And also uh, uh, Senator Robert Dole. The new majority leader in the Senate, and uh, Dick Armey, the majority whip mm -hmm. in the House, a man whom we have never spoken with. Yeah. But um, he does have the potential to say inappropriate things about a number of people. Sure. Hopefully we can goad him into doing that this morning. <laughs> yeah. About you. <laughs> also coming up this morning, Rush Limbaugh and Ross Perot and Richard Nixon and some Delbert McClinton and Fred Imus is in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And... Uh, at the Auto Body Express. Yeah. He's my brother, and we'll talk to him. All that coming up. Great. He came into the world from the right side of town, Georgia boy who was big and round, and his mom and dad thought they were being cute. Because even though he was their pride and joy, they christened him unlike all the other boys. I tell you, life ain't easy for a boy named Newt. <laughs> dedicated his life to the GOP, wanted to be speaker since the age of three, dreaming one day he'd wield power absolute. <laughs> He's a guy who spends a lot of time in the fridge, and it's no wonder he wants to bring back the orphanage. You would too if your parents named you Newt. <laughs> he learned how to add and how to divide, married his math teacher and multiplied, but when he went to subtract himself as a matter of course, it was slimy and low rent, the media said, to visit his wife in her hospital bed to get her to grade his paper for a divorce. <laughs> well, it may be because he hails from the South, but he's got a little problem controlling his mouth, making statements that the media thinks are crude. <laughs> Sometimes he pushes the envelope, like saying everybody at the White House is smoking dope, but he don't mean no harm, that's just old Newt. <laughs> when he went to D.C., Mr. Gingrich swore someday he'd be there on the Capitol floor, chucking out liberals with a big self-satisfied sneer. And it took almost half a century to get Republicans back in the majority, but when it happened, he said, my name is Newt, how do you do? Oh! Commies out of here. <laughs> All you atheists had better beware. School children's heads will now be bowed in prayer, beseeching the Lord to get rid of the poor and the queers. <laughs> Cause Newt and his Republican protégés are gonna fix this country in just a hundred days. I'm so proud of him, I'm on the verge of tears. <laughs> If I had only one life to live, I'd still do it all as a conservative. But if I ever have a son, I think I'm going to name him Bob 
Robert, Jesse, anything but new. <laughs> Rush Limbaugh here in the I'm So Lame program and a boy named New. Well, my daddy left home when I was three and he didn't leave much to Ma and me. Just this old guitar and an empty bottle of booze. Now, I don't blame him because he run and hid, but the meanest thing that he ever did was before he left, he went and named me. I'm a morning. Only Maxon Auto oh, Group it. has triple holiday savings. First, buy any brand new Pontiac, Honda, Hyundai, Mazda, GMC truck, or Buick in Maxon's 2000 car available inventory with absolutely no money down. Second, buy now and pay this is a uh, uh, moo -moo. Hey, this is the first one of the new year and the first one that I've witnessed of the marriage. This is great. Hi, baby. Oh, God, it is a movie. What's the matter? Hmm? Hello. I'm fine, how are you? I do. Did you fall asleep? Yeah, we got it. It looks funny, though. Huh? <laughs> I'll call you back, honey. I love you. You're making fun of me calling my wife? I said it's the first one of the new year and the first one that I have heard of the, uh, of the new marriage. Quite an event for the Chuckster. <laughs> this guy Tony from Lynchburg is on the phone. He's been out before, and uh, he wants to thank you for the, the jacket that he went off you on that bed with Ollie North. Oh, okay. Well, he, he predicted North wouldn't win. Is that the deal? Yeah. All right. Uh, let me ask you a couple of these bits. The Nixon thing is dead. That's correct. Liz Smith is dead. That is correct. Uh, Perot, Professor Elders is dead. That is correct. Okay. The Beavis and Bubba's kick you can use. Both of them? Yes. Uh, Smells Like Christmas obviously is dead. That's a Nirvana thing, right? That's correct. That is dead. <laughs> I'm not, I don't mean that. I'm very sorry. Idiot. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. It's just death is part of life. Uh, and the uh, Cronkite on Clinton? Dead. Uh, the, now, Rush, uh, Rush's thing, the trouble, that's still good, isn't it? That's fine. Hey, but, uh, have you listened to it lately? Does it make any... Was that, was that pre-election or post-election? Or does it make any difference? It doesn't make a difference. We okay. played it after the election. Oh, we did? Okay. All right, let's do Breen out of this. Do we have traffic? Yes. Why? Not everybody takes a limo to work, that's why. Oh, okay. So how are you, sweetie? Just fine, darling. How are your kids? They're great. Who said I remember their names? Lauren Michael and, and Jeffrey. Oh. <laughs> you named uh, their daughter after the cheerleader you forgot with, right? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Although we we all my wife a, is good friends with her. <laughs> we need a tote board to keep track of the cheerleaders you brought out with. <laughs> so um, well, I like being married. I mean, I've been well. That's that's good here. A uh, well, weekend? <laughs> no, but I mean, you know, that's like, a positive way to approach it. Since you are married now, <clears throat> but it was um, unbelievably. <laughs> you know,
right, 630 in New York. Time for the Dynex Mobile Fan Highway Patrol. Here with all that stuff is Laurie McNichol. Good morning, Laurie. Good morning, Iman. Uh, this report is brought to you by your New York Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Here's 10 seconds of savings from your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Plymouth's neon is one of the best values on the road today. Sedan or the new coupe. See the saving values available at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. If you're traveling in the Bronx, use caution southbound on the New England Thruway. There are reports of numerous blowouts between the city line and the huts right. that due to some debris in the roadway, which is steel. In Manhattan, southbound on the West Side Highway, you've got a stall in the process of being cleared from the right lane at 125th Street. Now, the roads are very icy this morning, so use caution, especially on bridges and exit ramps. They usually freeze over before the roadways do. And eastbound on the LIE at 108th Street, the right lane will remain closed all morning due to a hazardous icing conditions. And in Passaic County, westbound on Route 46, the ramps are completely iced over due to Lower Notch Road and Browerton Road. That's in Little Falls. Only minor delays at the Holland and Lincoln. I'm Laurie McNichol for the night. I miss it in the morning. 2020 sports rolls on. The nightmare has begun for a Villanova grad. <laughs> Good morning. This is Mike. Oh, wait a sports. minute. The wedding between Don Imus and Deidre Coleman went off as scheduled. The couple now married for well over two weeks. Mrs. Imus was asked how she enjoyed the honeymoon. It was fun. <laughs> Shut up. The bliss continues <laughs> this morning. In sports, Nebraska wins the national title. The win over Miami in the Auto Body Express Orange Bowl <laughs> <laughs> gave them a 13-0 record. And today, the USA Today CNN coaches poll and AP both have Nebraska number one and Penn State number two. I guess that's pretty good for Tom Osborne, right? Or is it? That's or do correct. we care? Yeah, yeah we know, we're care. happy for it. Well, we're interested. Penn State finished <laughs> second. I felt, I felt bad for the quarterback from Miami, though. Why? The Prozac head case. <laughs> Boy, no kidding. Kid. Kept bummed out and drove to Orlando <laughs> last time he lost. <laughs> yeah. Get a job as a limo driver then. <laughs> or just <laughs> Disney World. Yeah, stop whining. <laughs> Penn State finished second despite winning the Auto Body Express Rose Bowl. <laughs> Nittany Lions head coach Joe Paterno felt good for Nebraska coach Tom Osborne. I wanted him to win it national championship. I don't know. Obviously, he didn't want him to win at the expense of our squad. It wouldn't make that much difference to me for him to get one and I not get one. Uh, if I've had a couple. Sounds like he's had more than a couple. <laughs> well, <laughs> come back to us, Joe. I don't want to get, get, to, get to Joe Paterno and Leon Spinks together <laughs> and Michael Dokes. <laughs> Honest to God, come back to us. In other bowl action, Fat Bobby Bowden won. Florida State stopped Florida 23-17. And squirrely little Lou Holtz team got whacked. <laughs> Notre Dame gets annihilated by Colorado. 41-24 to was not even that close. Colorado's Heisman Trophy winner, running back Rashawn Salam, announced afterwards he's leaving school early to apply for the NFL draft. I decided, you know, me and my mom was talking. And off he goes. <laughs> my mom is surprised. <laughs> what about that Rhodes Scholarship? <laughs> you know, we don't need it. So that's just not funny. How is that funny? <laughs> what about that Professor Salam in the future? <laughs> you know, Jesus God Almighty. What about that thesis, Mr. Salam? <laughs> <laughs> that, will be, that, that will be fine. We just don't need any of that. So, And, and from the NHL, there were no games last night on the schedule. <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of fat people, Don. Don Shula is now so fat. The coach of the Miami Dolphins is so fat he needs a golf cart yes. to get up and down the sidelines. I mean, what is that all about? I don't know. He just just gave up, I More guess. More Florida fat people, period. Is that what Bill Parcells is going to go to now, a golf cart? Yes, I believe so. On the Patriots sidelines? Yeah. Nice job in Cleveland, they did. What was that all about? The Browns on their way to the Super Bowl. The Browns are going nowhere. The Browns have to go to Pittsburgh, and that's the end of their season. Yeah, that's right. It's over. It's over once they go to Pittsburgh. Sure. Do you yeah. remember, remember back in early in the season when we were still in Cleveland? And I said the Browns would go to the Super Bowl? Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Well, yeah, I do, but I mean, they're not going to go there and play. Bank on it. How many times? They played Pittsburgh twice this season, right? Yeah. How many times? Yeah. They didn't do too well. Did they beat him either time? How do I know? Spoons <laughs> and their sauces and dirt on the floor. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Rochester. Oh, oh good morning, boys. Did you, did you have a nice night? Oh, pretty good, Rochester. But as you know, I had a difficult time falling asleep. I counted 3,000 sheep. 3,020 to be exact. Was it that many? Yeah, and boss, tonight when you go to bed, why don't you take a little pill? No, Rochester, I prefer to count sheep. I know, but I feel so silly putting on that white coat and jumping back and forth over your bed post. <laughs> I miss in the morning. Have you opened up your credit card statements for the month yet? I can make anyone a little nervous, baby. So if you have trouble organizing your monthly bills, there's an amazing, easy little software program called Quicken, Q-U-I-C-K-E-N. 
that can make your life a whole lot happier can change your life. In fact, Quicken eliminates the pain of dealing with your finances. Quicken makes finance planning painless because it shows you where your money goes and exactly how much uh, you have left. And for a lot of folks, that means now you can do uh, things that you've always wanted, like uh, leave. <laughs> Just get out. Just get the hell out of there. Simplify, baby. Take that vacation. <laughs> Send them apes to college. Sure. You ain't going to be a bit surprised when you find out that Quicken is the best-selling personal finance software in the world. Quicken, Q-U-I-C-K-E-N. They help you manage your money better, baby, so you can achieve them dreams. Mm -hmm. You can try Quicken for this limited-time offer, $9.95, which it seems like we had last year, didn't we? Yeah. I well, it, so. the sale continues. Yes, it does. 1-800-553-EASY, E-A-S-Y. Ines! The world was created in six days. But it takes seven to forget about it. At the Acapulco Princess, we make vacations. And they take over seven days. So for a limited time, we invite you to spend seven days at one of the world's top... Take the guy from Lynchburg. ...for the price of five. For only $157 per person per night. What's that hillbilly, right? Yep. Bill, Bill Graham's campaign manager. <laughs> <laughs> Seven days of golf and challenging 18 all courses. Seven days of tennis. Care for a dip in the pool? You can just about swim in a different one every day. And of course, these seven also come with enchanted nights. So call Is there anything to talk about this wedding? I mean, it's, you, there's not much to talk about because it went well. It's a problem. Flawlessly. Wow. Uh, talk about Gladys taking that bottle out there. <laughs> well, that, that wouldn't get in her, in her, in her name trouble, would it? I don't know. That might not be a... That might not be a good. I mean, no, I, I don't think it would, but I just don't know if it's... focus on the East Coast where we thought we could be at any of our stations yeah. within a couple of hours. We call it the Metro Liner strategy. His partner, Jim Thompson, president and CEO, no, no. yesterday, well, we had to be in Washington, D.C. Uh, yeah. I got the train in New York City. We got our special little cafe car where we have the table, which we pretty much use as our office, where we sit and face each other, eyeball to eyeball, and brainstorm about things. Where is Brian Lamb? Is he in Santa Fe? Or is he here? I mean, uh, obviously, I believe he's in Washington. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I don't care. You go through the aggravation. Nobody cares. You get there. You finally go on the plane. Hopefully, it takes off. Um, We've seen people stuck in Washington where I say, take the train with us. Amtrak's Metro. Number, number seven, seven publishes weekly this week. You know what? It's going to snow tomorrow. And and that, you said that is you that's actually train. up. That's Was that one up? Wonder how Santa comes well, you know, the thing is, it, was, it, it got up to nine publishes weekly, then it went to 15, then it went back to 10, and now it's up to seven. I don't The Drip Devil Handvax powerful section lifts the clean out of the carpet. It's revolving. I have written an essay I have to have you take a look at. The Drip extra long cord. About these, these sniveling little nitwits who reviewed this thing for why, I have no idea. I'm talking about how it, well, it's, a, it's you know, uh, that it didn't really, that it really didn't plow any new ground, and I, it's just, it's so it's just, they don't get it. You know, and it was written in 1978. No, I can't help that. There's nothing more revealing about how little somebody can get a circumstance. You know. All of history, all in one place. Call your local. The guy from Lynchburg. Hi, I'm Imus of the Morning. It's 21 minutes till the hour here in New York City. I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Well, I was in Santa Fe, New Mexico at Fred's house. Me, yeah. and, uh, me and my wife. Mrs. Hank Snow. <laughs> yes. That's the way I introduce her to people. I understand. Well, that's the way I did introduce her to people. Now she explained to me she didn't think that was that amusing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Kenky Friedman, my uh, love Kenky Friedman, who I predict will have a best-selling book this year. Uh, he's already written about seven novels. He's yeah. with Simon & Schuster now. He's got a new one coming out, I think, uh, The Love Song of J. Edgar Hoover, I believe is the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's either the love song of J. Edgar Hoover or God Bless John Wayne. <laughs> it's one of them. It doesn't make any difference. Okay. It's kinky, sure. Like, yeah, it's like poor old Louis Grisard. Once you got past the title, that was pretty much it. But yeah. with kinky, there's... There's some substance. Not that there wasn't with Mr. Grisard. <laughs> it's just mad. Why well, start <laughs> hammering dead people here this morning? I mean, it's just, uh, what's the point? It's the new, kinder, <clears throat> gentler eye man. So I stopped by KRZY, which is our affiliate there in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. Where's Jane? Get Jane in here. Right away. Jane Metzler, who used to work in Albuquerque, she was a big TV anchor woman there. Yeah. 
And then uh, there was some hideous, horrible... Uh... Come on, what's the matter? Nothing. What's not the matter? <laughs> so why are you shaking? How are you? I'm fine. What's that thing you gave me and my wife? Mrs. Hank Snow? Oh, Mrs. Hank Snow, yeah. It, it's a, an Indian wedding vase that my friend made. Out in well, it looks to me like one of those cheesy wedding vase <laughs> vases that you can buy at any curio shop on a reservation. It's no, not my, my friend Nev Eckerman made it, and she's a Laguna Pueblo Indian. Oh, she is? Yes, she hey, is. What kind of Indians are in Taos? Taos Pueblo Indians. That's, a, that's the name of the tribe? Yes. We went there Christmas Day, me and uh, my wife, Mrs. Hanks, Snow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to go down well. Yeah. Me and my wife, Deidre Coleman, we went to, uh, with Fred Imus. And they have, at your suggestion, by yes. the way, we go to the to Taos Pueblo, the old Pueblo. Uh huh. And they have these uh, Indian dances. Right. The buffalo dance. The buffalo dance, yeah. Right. And they all wear these deer skin and buffalo skins. And it, 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 you know, they wear the deer head, and then yeah. they have the entire skin and everything. They'll still attach to the, you know, that. It's attractive. Yeah. It's, it's, nice. it's a good look. Yeah. It is a good and I So I say to Fred, is this Christmas or Halloween? <laughs> yeah. Don't tell Bridget Bardot about this. <laughs> <laughs> and so Fred gets upset with me. And then they've got, uh, and the Indians are all, the, all the young Indians are so whacked out on peyote. <laughs> You know, their eyes look like, well, look like mine used to look. <laughs> right. Frankly. I, I know the look. Yeah. <laughs> And so Deidre says, and, there, and there's several hundred people there watching this, you know, all these uh, precious Taos yuppies. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, northern New Mexico yuppie scum are all watching the Indian dance. And Deidre turns to me and she said, this is gross. Let's get out of here. <laughs> 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 so people are turning around. Shh, shh. <laughs> so what is that all about? Well, Christmas Eve is actually more fun and, and kind of bizarre. I couldn't believe it the first time I saw it. They run through the streets of Taos with a statue of the Virgin Mary and the baby Jesus and shoot guns off. And I thought that was kind of an interesting image. Are the Indians into Jesus? Kind of, yeah. It's their own version of Catholicism. Hey, they whacked yeah. out. They don't care. See, that's another thing. They've all, they've all destroyed the Indian heritage there. Mm. You see more Lutheran and Presbyterian churches. We were married. <laughs> I know. By a, by a pres Navajo Presbyterian minister. And a lovely man. It's kind of a Jesus peyote mix. Is it? So I stopped by KRZY there in Albuquerque. Yes. Just say, Cindy Winder's not a lesbian. I know she's not. Well, well, yeah, now you know she's not because I told you. But I mean, what was this thing no, you do? She's, she's married. Well, I know that, but. Uh, it's a beard. <laughs> Not that it would matter, by the way, but uh, it would it's matter true. to some people on the program, but it doesn't matter to me. But I didn't know why you would say those things about her. Actually, you're the one that said... I never said anything. I'd never met the woman. How you would I know? You called her a lesbian. <coughs> I said I didn't well, know. Well, you may make it sound as though that, that I use it in a pejorative sense. No. Not... Oh, no. 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 And... Why, that would make me homophobic. Certainly. No. There's no pejorative involved no, there. Not at, not at all. No, and in New Mexico, it's it's a lesbian-friendly state. I met Tony Lynn. Yeah. God, Tony, uh, have a salad. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Tony Lynn does a morning show where? At KRZ, KRST, actually. Some other Turkey. station there, right? Yeah. Yes, it's, it's their FM <laughs> He's the nice. station. <laughs> he came in to meet me, you know, he was on vacation. He drove all the way in from wherever he lives. <laughs> How nice. Los Alamos or someplace up there by the bomb factory. <laughs> yeah, was loser. nice of him, yeah. <clears throat> so, well, why did I call you in here? I have I some. There's know. nothing going on, is no, there? Hammer her, boss. Come on. I don't want to hammer her. So <laughs> you how are want to make me cry on I don't want to make you cry. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. You're a big deal in New Mexico. Are you aware of that? No. Oh, man. I mean, my brother even thinks you're a big deal. It's a major no, but player. People, but sure. people think you're a big I mean, you were a huge deal there. I watched the local news people in Albuquerque. They can't suck enough. <laughs> they cannot suck enough. <laughs> so are you going back there? Would For you a ever? visit? No, would you ever go back and do television there? Um, probably not. Probably. Yeah, you would. <laughs> 150 grand, you'd be back there in a heartbeat. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, there's an eight. too much fun here. <clears throat> get out. There's a. Uh, <laughs> you. Just get out. <laughs> well, that's the end of it. Just get out. <laughs> You've served your purpose. <laughs> it's a 15 delay hour here in New York, and I am I, Mr. Morning Aldemato, Tim Russert, uh, Senator Bob Dole, and Congressman Dick Army are all coming up this morning, plus Rush Limbaugh and Ross Perot and uh, Richard Nixon and some Beavis and Bubba and Fred Imus from Santa Fe, New Mexico, wow. plus some wow. Delbert McClinton. So it's, it's all happening. Stop. Stop. There's an 800 number that you can call me from any place in America where you can hear me, from San Diego to, to these places in Rhode Island, wherever, yep. wherever else we're on, Vermont and so on. 
And it's, uh, I don't know what it is. It's 1 800 schmuck. It's 1 800 370 IMUS. Yes. Mike in Lynchburg. Good morning, Mike. Tony. Tony. Uh, <laughs>